Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to configure settings of Azure SQL Managed Instance. Let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. Alright, I am logged on to the portal. If you would see the settings option, so if I click on Compute and Storage, you would see the service tier that is being selected, the hardware, compute hardware. <clears throat> that will run the Azure SQL Manage instance. We can increase it. Right? You would see that if I increase it, the V cores to 24 V cores, and you see the cost is 3 lakh 46 thousand. No, it's 34,117 rupees, I'm sorry, per month. Right? So you can get estimates on this. But I'll go to what it was. Then you can have the licensing as well. You can configure backup as well. All right. And if you would look for the connection strings, Active Directory connection strings are not available because Active Directory admin is not configured. I will we'll see to that as well. So it is the JDBC SQL Authentication, the ODBC, the PHP, the, the P defined connection string that we'll see and if you click on maintenance option you would see the maintenance window would come up all right system defaults or whatever you want to select so these were the options that we got while we were creating the sql manage instance as well right so if you would see click on active directory admin there is no active directory admin configured for this as of now i'll try to cover it later and if you will see the properties the subscription id all that information that you see on the other resources as well and if you want to customize uh, the time zone So when you when you are creating the SQL Manage instance, then it gives you an option to set up the time zone. You can set that while creating it, right? And if you want to set up a new database, you can click here. You can do database one. I am not using any backups. It'll be a blank database you click on ok so it would create a database on the sql managed instance here and if you would see you come here go back to the overview zero found so let me just refresh it maybe then we'll see You see this database on the SQL Manage instance, right? These are the settings or the properties that you would see. And if you want to connect, you can connect to this uh, public endpoint here through SQL Server Management Studio. But if you just make sure that while we were creating the SQL Manage instance, I set the public endpoint to ask disabled. So if you want to access it over public internet, you enable this option. And the option requires port 3342 to be open for the inbound traffic. That will be covered in the network security group. Okay, that I will cover in the other video. So in here, I just wanted to give you an overview of the settings that you see after your SQL MI is up and running on the Azure portal. I hope this was useful for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, please mention them in the comment section. Thank you. Have a good day.